Wait a second. That's not a flamingo. Hey, everybody. <laughs> oh, Carol's texting me. So, just me today. Carol's actually on her way back from California right now. Yeah, I just wanted to come to SeaWorld San Antonio, do a quick little update video, and uh, see what they're doing to prepare for Christmas, which starts, I believe, this Thursday. So yeah, let's check it out. And so one thing is the kids area bay of play it's completely under construction they've completely got rid of uh are taking down grover's box car but there is a new roller coaster that it's actually in the back lot i've seen it i was there for the 5k and ran right past it but they're constructing it for it's coming next year in 2025 they do have two kids Ride still open near the back here, hang on. Completely closed off the kids area. Retheming it. And just doing a lot of construction there. But they do have Elmo's Dolphin Dive open as well as Big Berg's Spinning Reef. So at least there's two rides still open for the kids. If you're a pass holder, you get a double discount each month for a single store. You can put it off like at the digital kiosk at the front. This month is it's the Under the Sea store, I believe. Which it's not really they don't have a sign, but it's this one that is the build a build a bear workshop. I think it says under the sea on the other side, but that's currently mostly blocked off due to construction. Looks like they still need to do a little bit more theming to this one. This is usually one of the stands for hot cocoa and treats. But they do have more gingerbread houses up. They used to have this lined with lights. I'm not sure if they'll do it again this year just because people will be walking all over them and then also big sections of lights would be out. Still looked really nice though whenever it was fully lit up. So, but we'll see if they still do that this year. They do have the model village up with the trains going. That's pretty awesome. Always one of my favorite parts of Christmas that they put on here. Oh, there, I got some merch out. Let's see what Express. I do have ten dollars in C bucks to use. Look around to see if they have anything. Oh, they do have more over here. They have the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer merch. Never stop believing. The Frost Monster. Oh, they have the what are those called? Jumpsuits or full body suits? In case you're wondering. $60. I'm pretty sure the pretty sure this one's $60 as well. Yep. This one might be a little bit cheaper. No, it's $60 too. That's <laughs> where they have some of the Rudolph the reindeer, red nosed reindeer characters. There's the Island of Misfit Toys. There's that climber guy. Rudolph, they'll have meet and greets somewhere around here. Last year they had a like meet and greet right over here. They had a nice little photo opportunity set up here. Ooh. Here's the tree. I think they had uh, some kind of brass band here. I'm sure they'll bring back this year. I'm noticing some of the palm trees. 
of lights all around them. I was not fully wrapped to the top. And I'm happy to report, Catapult Falls is up and running. Without any issues. No one's uh, manning the photo booth though, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a line. It's, uh, I think, in the 70s, maybe 80s. Feels nice outside, but if you get wet, it's not going to feel good. Also in front of Great White, they have the fence kind of lined up with lights looks really nice at night they only have half of it kind of done right now so they'll have it completely done by thursday it's another area or this is another area typically they'll have hot chocolate stand a little past a little bit past the great white yeah, the point is this are these poinsettias poinsettia tree out I have no idea if those are real or not. They got the real crisp coop kind of set up for, or lined up with garland for Christmas. Looking nice. As well as the boots tree. Cowboy boots tree. They're getting Santa's workshop set up. This is the meet and greet area for Santa Claus. And right over here, I know last year they don't have it set up. They might set it up later but this is where you could sit and kind of write a letter to Santa now Rio Loco is currently closed now I'm not sure if that's just due to staffing or if it's close for the season we'll say we did see it open last weekend so only time will tell oh, look a hat and of course they have the light tunnel it looks very nice at night. As long as all the lights are working. Let's see if we can hear <laughs> or not. But here, yeah. They have the landscape kind of lit up. Or lined up, I should say, with lights. It looks very nice at night. They also have the plastic bottle waste tree up. These are just recycled or actually looks more like cleaned up bottles that they found in the ocean. If you look at some of them, it's kind of hard to see. But just a reminder to recycle correctly. It is close to Veterans Day, so they do have some flags out, but they do also have some lights out in front of the Orca Stadium. They don't have any of the big ornaments out yet, but I'm sure they'll be out by next Thursday. And over here, in the beer gardens, this is where they have s'mores. Nice little fire pit going. They also have hot chocolates. Currently, I really haven't taken advantage of this area much during Christmas, but we will have to this year. We will just have to. It's like they're doing some work right here. This is, oh, they completely took out those fountains. It was like soda fountains. But that was a recent addition. I'm not sure why they did that. But we have lights adorning the fence here at Atlantis and Atlantis is still up don't know for how long though I know it goes down for seasonal maintenance at some point so typically this is where they have a little donut shop during Christmas I'm sure that will be making a return it's right across or right in front of Atlantis they got the Blues brother snowman out oh I think this is a mistake having them so accessible right here. We got Snowbly. Oh, yeah, his nose is already falling off. Manu Snowbly. We got uh, some football players over there too. But they completely took down the stage that was right here that they built and didn't use for a hollow screen. And here's another little treat stop that they'll have for Christmas. Yeah, that's about all for the updates at SeaWorld San Antonio for their Christmas celebration. 
starting November 14th, which is this upcoming Thursday, till January 5th is when the Christmas celebration is happening. So yeah, we'll probably be around the park then. Just remember to hydrate, it's still a little hot. Even though it's in the 70s, the sun is out. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. But don't forget to hydrate. And until next time, see y'all. Hi, Mom. <laughs>